What is going on, Saxon family? How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. Right now, we're actually back here once again at my beautiful parents' house. Last time I vlogged outside, uh, yeah, this whole entire thing was frozen, but uh, we still got a hole over there. So, yeah, this is frozen. There's still a hole over there, but hey, that does not matter because it is actually close to springtime. Anyways, as you guys know, my last couple vlogs were involving with my mom because she was in the hospital. But thankfully, I do have a positive update on that. She is home, she's inside, and she's doing well. Personally for me, I want to thank you guys all so much for all the positive support and love for my mom down below in the comment section. She read every single comment and meant the world to her. By the way, if you're not yet subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on a brand new video. Alright, let's go inside and see my mom. Hi, Bobo. Hi, my favorite puppy. How are you, Bo? Yeah, you're, do you're doing good? Good. Speaking of doing good, hello, Mother. Hi. How are you? I am doing well. That's, that's what everybody wanted to hear. Everybody has been concerned about you. Thank you, everybody, for your support. I've been reading um, comments. I try to answer everybody. I am doing well. If you guys see like my mom on YouTube comments, nine times out of ten, that's her. By the way. Um. When I was being discharged, the doctor was like, "You didn't even look like you had surgery. You're up. You're walking." And I said, "Well, there's no reason to lay around and be in bed because I'm not going to get any better if I lay around." That's true, guys. Like off vlog, uh, there was one point where I didn't bring the camera around because like. Bring a camera around the hospital is not the brightest thing to do uh, because of rules and regulations, all that kind of stuff. But there's a part where uh, I didn't vlog, but we actually got my mom up out of bed and uh, my mom was able to walk around and we uh, actually went and filled a cup up just like, is that the same cup? Yeah. Yeah, we went and got that cup filled with ice and water down the hall and uh, then yeah, she was fine. Well, in pain, but moving around fine, thankfully. The pain's not really there. I. And well, it's hard to get comfortable. I know you were saying that earlier. It's hard to get comfortable. It's kind of hard to get up at times because I have over a hundred stitches in me. A hundred stitches? Well, a hundred on the inside and over a hundred staples on the outside. So two hundred sabers. That is, that, that, what? <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah, I have a lot. Are, of are they the kind that like they don't have to take out? They just dissolve. On the inside, yes, and the outside, they're all staples, so they have to come out. I think on Tuesday they're being removed. Yeah, screw that. All right, mom. I'll uh, catch you later. I'm gonna run out to a place real quick. All right. So Be see careful. you. Yep. Love Peace you. Out. Love you. Love you. So if you're wondering where I am going right now, I am actually leaving my parents' house to go to the cemetery to visit my father. <laughs> I don't even, yeah, like, you, you just, uh, you can't make this stuff up. Anyway, I am, <laughs> I don't even know who that was, like, anyways, I'm leaving right now to go to the cemetery to visit my father, because uh, when this video does go live, it is 19th, which is basically the hardest day of my life. It's going to be 14 years since my father unfortunately passed away from colon cancer. This time of the year is always the hardest time for me, uh, just a lot goes on, you know, 14 years of memories miss of things that could have happened things that could have been done things that could have been said Unfortunately things happen in life that are usually out of our control and uh, you just have to remember the good times Well, here we are pulling into the cemetery actually right Over here if I drive slow enough. We'll see my mom's parents right there the Canelli's uh, Dorothy and William, so my uh, pop-up and uh, grandma right there. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty weird uh, coming to the cemetery every time just due to the fact like, I don't know, 14 years ago, I, I, I still I still picture everything in my head, how it was the day we buried my father and uh, I don't know, it's just, it's weird to me still. Well, here we are at the cemetery, and uh, this is always hard for me, guys. Even when it's not around this time of the year, uh, just coming to the cemetery is hard, but this time of the year is always the hardest. Uh, it's the hardest time of my life. The hardest day of my life is the 19th, and uh, here we have my father, Jeffrey Sr., 
If you guys always wonder why I am a Vikings fan, it's uh, because of this man right here. And uh, he means the world to me, always has and always will. And, you know, I have a lot of great memories with my dad. And uh, I remember one of the last conversations I had with him was on February 14th, 2005. Which is why I personally dislike Valentine's Day is because that was the last day I got to speak with my father and see my father so alive. And uh, as a Vikings fan, I heard earlier in the day that Randy Moss was going to the Oakland Raiders. And uh, I didn't know if that was true or not. So I asked my dad, I said, hey, Dad, is it true that Randy Moss is going to the Raiders? And he didn't know. And <laughs> I was joked. I was like, Dad, you got to make sure they win a Super Bowl one day. And... Here I am, still waiting for them to win that one Super Bowl, but this man right here, guys, is the person that made me who I am and who I've learned a lot from uh, in just a short eight-year period. I just had to turn the camera off real quick. Um, I wanted to kind of, you know, talk to my dad off vlog, if you know what I mean, where you just, you sit here and you talk for some time, and, you know, it made me think of these few things, and, uh, I know not everybody gets along with their parents, but please do me a favor. Get along with them. Try your best. You never know when they're going to go, and uh, you don't know what you have until you lose it with a family member. And for me, I had eight years to get to know my dad. Well, really six because I don't remember much my first maybe two, three years of life in general. But uh, I want you guys to do me a favor tonight. When you go home or when you watch this video, do me a favor, just give your mom or dad a hug and a kiss. Tell them that you love them because for me, I personally wish I can give my dad one more hug and one more kiss and tell him that I love him. And all I have left now is just memories. I mean, some YouTubers are fortunate these days. They have all these memories with their family on vlog where they could go back and hear their voice. I mean, I don't have that. I wish I can just go back in time and just hear my dad's voice for one last time, hear his laugh, see his smile, and, you know, being able to watch it back. And I don't have that like a lot of people these days do, and it makes me <laughs> miss my dad even more. I, uh, I just wish I had that. I just wish I still had five more minutes, just five more minutes with my dad. It's time to go home. Love you, dad. You mean the world to me. Thank you for eight great years. I got to um, get to know you, Dad. And just please, whatever you do, keep watching over me and protecting me. I love you, Dad. God, this sucks. <laughs> this sucks. 14 years. <laughs> I still ask why. I still ask why it had to be you, Dad. Why? Why can't I get to know you more? Why can't I do a lot more things with you? That's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out. I'm sorry this vlog was kind of like a, a downer of a vlog. A uh, very sad day in general for myself and my family and uh, what I've decided to do is to help honor my dad at the end of this vlog guys I'm gonna have a little montage playing of uh, some of the best photos that I can find of me and my dad and just my family growing up so uh, Saxon family I love you guys thank you so much and I'll see you next time peace